Your ability to find new clients for your web design or SEO business really starts with how you're able to generate quality leads. If you're always putting in your effort with low quality leads, then you're gonna find yourself struggling having an uphill battle with growth. Trust me, I've been there. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Justin Parker, and I've gone from struggling as a freelancer, barely being able to sell websites for like 300 pounds, to now having a successful but modest six-figure business where I can sell websites for at least 5,000 pounds each time. And to get there, I didn't really have to change much from what I was doing. Now, today we're talking about leads, and I'm gonna show you how you can very quickly build a lead list of your ideal customer's details so you can reach out to them via the phone or via email. Now, first things first, I want you to think about the type of people that you can be reaching out to. And these might be people that you haven't considered when starting your business. Now, first of all, we've got your inner circle. These are friends, family, acquaintances. If you are brand new to business, I would certainly look to hit those people up first. Next, we've got an email list of ideal customers, you know, people who have given you permission to contact them. Once you've exhausted your inner circle, that's what you wanna look at doing next. And then finally, we've got everybody else. Okay, this is where most people start. You know, they forget the inner circle, they forget the email list that they may have. Even if it's just a handful of people, you never know. If you have 10 people that you can contact in your inner circle, you might make one sale. If you have 10 people in your email list, you might again make one sale. It's still a sale. Once you've exhausted those two, reach out to everybody else. And I'm gonna talk you through how you can go about doing these for each three. So let's have a look at the inner circle first. Okay, let's start off with friends who have a business. If you're any of your friends, are business owners themselves, it really doesn't hurt to reach out to them and ask if you can help them with their website. Even if you have to price yourself slightly lower in the beginning to get that first sale, it's still a sale and it's still experience and it's still something you can put in your portfolio and you can get a testimonial for. Next, we've got your friends whose parents have a business. Okay, again, reach out to them. There's already a relationship built there and there is a strong opportunity for you to do some work for them. And then we've got your own family who know people with a business. Think about your mum, dad, aunt, uncle, siblings. Is there anyone in your family that knows someone with a business that they can put you in contact with? Then we've got people from your previous employment. Okay, these, this falls in the category of acquaintances. So have you had a boss that you've worked with before who is now self-employed or has their own business? Have any of the colleagues that you've worked with gone out on their own and you can reach out to? So I've just covered this one, previous bosses who now have a business too. And then finally, local networking contacts. Have you been to any local networking events? Do you have anyone in your kind of local network that you know has a business that you've spoken to in the past and you can reach out to them and say, hey, like, I'm I'm a web designer now. Do you need some help with your website? And then try to spark up a conversation there. So there's lots of opportunity there just within your inner circle. All right, next we're moving on to the email list of ideal customers. Okay, and these are people that have given you permission to reach out to them. Now, the best way that I found for you to be able to build a list of ideal customers that's given you permission to email them is via a lead magnet. Now, if you don't know what a lead magnet is, it's essentially where you are offering free value to the type of business that you wanna be helping, that you wanna be working with. This could be a free guide, it could be a template, it could be a webinar, for example. Like All your ideal client needs to do is provide you with an email address so you can send that resource, that free guide to them and in return, you've captured their data, you've captured their email address, you've captured their name. And you can build this into a list of people that have given you permission to reach out to them. And what's better is you know that these people are interested. So don't don't hold back on the free value, You know, help your ideal customer and then they will like you, they will trust you. And the more that they like you and trust you, you have a much stronger chance of working with them in the future. Once you have your email address, you now have a warm lead. Right now, let's move on to everybody else. Looking at everybody else, the best way to do this is via a lead scraper. Now, if you're not sure what a lead scraper is, it's in essence just a tool that crawls the internet, scrapes websites and collects data, e.g. name, business name, phone number, email address, and tons of other bits of information. Now, there's loads of lead scrapers out there, but the one that I recommend the most is Outscraper. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this works because this is a tool that I've recently started using myself and I think it's really, really good and really quite cost effective. Now what we're able to do and the reason why I like it a lot is you can actually crawl Google Maps. So we're able to find local based businesses. So in order to scrape data, what you wanna do is you wanna go to services by brand and we're gonna to head to Google and you can see there's loads here. This is just how I'm using it at the moment. And we can go to Google Maps Scraper. 
Now what this is gonna allow us to do, it's gonna allow us to put in a type of business that we wanna contact. So if we go plumbing, so plumber is plumbing one. Um, let me just put plumbing in, I think I can add it, there we go. Uh, so if we were looking for plumbers in United Kingdom, um, it's gonna give us some default locations here. You can either you know, delete these by the checkbox. There's so many options, so it can get a bit difficult. Uh, or you can click custom locations and you can put some in here, like let's go with London or Birmingham, uh, Bristol, Manchester. Or if you wanted to just be local like me, we could just go with Exeter, that's where I'm based. And then scrolling down, everything else is fine. And here is where we choose what type of data that we want it to collect. And now depending on what you want it to collect, it's gonna charge you more in some instances, like it's minimal. Okay, you can see how cheap this is. And the one way that I've been using this is by collecting phone numbers and more, more specifically collecting mobile phone numbers because I've put them into an SMS automation where I send them a text message and try and spark a conversation. And what you're able to do once you've pulled this list down and you've collected all the data, we can just filter through, remove all the landlines and just be left with a list of mobile numbers so we can SMS message them. That's just one way that I've been using it. So it's a pretty diverse tool. Now, once you've got all this information and you click get data, what you're gonna be left with is a sheet, which you can see here. I mean, I've blanked it out because it's got people's personal information on it. But you'll, you'll see that there's a list of information where we've got business name, their phone number, and their email address. Sometimes this tool will also get the business owner's first and last name, which is super, super useful. And then if it doesn't, what you'll have to do is maybe just do a little bit of research and figure out who the owner of that business is. And you can just put that name into your lead list. Now, just a tip for you here is pick a niche. Okay, what niche are you gonna focus on? Because if you take a scattergun approach, you're not gonna succeed. From personal experience, when I was able to just identify one single niche to focus on with my outreach, I was able to be really specific with my approach and with my messaging and my results increased. Remember, if, when you try and speak to everybody, you end up speaking to nobody, right? So that's what you don't wanna do here. Now, if you're looking for an alternative lead tool, um, I recommend Apollo. It's a bit more expensive than Outscraper, but still very, very good. And I recommend each of these within my Agency Alchemist program to each one of my students. And I know that they're finding success with it as well. But if you are on a cost saving exercise, which is completely understandable, completely reasonable, I don't know where you are in your journey. I'm assuming that you're fairly close at the beginning and you may not have the budget to spend on these tools just yet. Now you can just take to Google. You can just go to Google Maps and you can search plumber near me. All right, and then this is just gonna give you a list of businesses where you can go through, you can write the business name down, you can click on their website, you can get their phone number, you can, as I say, click on the website, find out who the business owner is, get their email address, and then build your own lead list. Now, this does take a lot longer. And the reason why we rely on these tools, these lead scrapers is because we are looking to save time and collect business information quickly. So we can spend a lot more time on the actual physical outreach rather than the scraping of the data. So hopefully now you have a better understanding on how you can generate leads quickly for your own web design business. If you found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And there's a new video popping up on screen now, which I also think you're gonna find useful. So make sure that you go and check that out. That's it for me. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.